Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. My name is Joe Wicks and this is step number five of my first Steps to Fitness Challenge, a two week challenge with ultimate beginners in mind to get you moving, get you feeling good, get you believing in yourself and getting you actually to want to take this journey a little bit further to really strengthen your body and you know improve your mental health. That's really what I'm passionate about, just getting people moving and feeling good. So I hope you're enjoying the challenge so far. This is step number five. If you've missed any others, you can go back and um, they're on the, ch the channel. You can obviously dip in and out whenever you want. Um, I am recommending doing three a week for two weeks. Uh, they're 15 minutes long and you can have a day's rest in between if you need to, just to recover and get yourself ready for the next workout. Uh, it's a simple format, 15 minutes, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds rest on each exercise. And um, so essentially it's, it's, it's only seven and a half minutes of actual movement. So you get to recover in between each exercise. So the first I'm gonna do, uh, two options. Now you can march on the spot like this, just sort of a sort of gentle march. If you want to go a bit quicker, you can jog. And if you want to really go for it and you've got a bit more energy, you can go for like a low sprint, like a really, really fast low sprint. And the ultimate aim is just 30 seconds of pushing yourself to the timer. You'll hear a beep and then we rest, catch our breath and go again. Are you ready? 30 seconds of sprinting, let's go. So either sprinting on the spot or just a gentle jog, whatever works for you, just move yourself and keep going for 30 seconds. This is it, perfect, 20 seconds on the clock. Knees up, pump the arms, and if you feel like you can go a bit quicker, just go a little bit faster at the end. Let's go. Okay, 10 seconds, knees up, as fast as you can. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one, and relax, brilliant. That's our first exercise out the way. Next one we're gonna do is gonna be a similar thing, except we're gonna bring the arms in. So we've just done a little jog, we're now gonna sort of bring the arms uh, and knees together. So it's sort of high knees if you can on the spot and then stretch those arms out, really reach, push and pull. Obviously you can slow this down as well if you wanna just do the punching, but I'm trying to do running and punching as fast as we can. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. So nice fast feet, lift those arms straight out in front. Let's go, we're trying to get our heart rate up now. 30 seconds on this, reach the arms out. So try not to keep them short long so you're sort of pushing and pulling push the arm away put it back to the chin okay and go come on keep running keep it going 10 seconds to go nice and quick keep pushing okay five four three two one and relax good right next move lower body exercise so we're going to do a basically a bit of a pulsing exercise so we're going to put our right leg back and we're gonna try and just pulse in this position. So it takes a bit of balance. You can put your hands out to the side on your hips, drop down and up. So obviously you're trying to get low. If that's too difficult, you can just do a much sort of shallower lunge if you like. So it takes balance. Here we go, so good. So we're just gonna pulse on that one side. So nice straight back. Put your arms out if you need to balance. So the aim is to Keep that foot flat on the ground, bend both knees and up. So we're gonna change legs obviously. We're gonna do the right side first, then we'll go left leg back. So nice straight back, dropping down as low as you can. You're gonna feel that burning in that front leg, but also the back leg's also getting a little bit of a burner. And, and relax, brilliant. So yeah, that's stretching that front quad, that back quad as well. So now we're gonna right foot forwards, left leg back. So you don't want your feet completely in line, get a bit of a Split between the legs, stretch shoulders back if you can, drop down. And obviously, the, the, the more flexibility you've got on your hip flexors and your quads, the lower you're gonna have to come. But don't think you've gotta go down that low, just whatever it is, just get a bend in that front knee, drop the back knee as well, trying to bend, back knee, shoulders back, let's go. So little pulses. And try not to let this leg wobble like this, try not to, you don't have to wobble and try and keep that stable. So drop down and up, little pulse and up, brilliant. 15 seconds to go, then we're gonna go down on the ground for another sort of abs exercise, working our core. So you're gonna feel this leg working in five, four, three, two, one. Oh. So again, these exercises, you're, you're really having to put a lot of strain on one leg, so it is gonna feel harder than if you were to do, a, you know, a squat's obviously for spreading the load. You're, you're isolating each leg. So next exercise, we're gonna try and do a kind of a plank variation now. So if you want to, 
you can just do a normal plank like this, just hold this right. This is the kind of beginner version. Or if you want to go really easy, go knees on the ground. And what I'm hoping to do is tap the shoulders like this. Off we go, so shoulder tap. So you go left, right, left. And obviously if it's too easy, you come up. Left, right. You can still get just the same exercise, just less resistance by tapping the shoulders there, look. It's taking you off balance slightly, so you've got to really embrace these muscles in your core. So tap the shoulders, left, right, and relax. Perfect, now we're gonna just come up, slowly stand up on the spot. Right, so that is our first round. So we now know what's coming. So can we go a bit faster, a bit more intense in this exercise with the aim of just pushing our heart rate a little bit higher now. So first up's gonna be that, obviously marching is fine, Jogging's fine, and then sprinting also, whatever, whatever, just work hard. But if you did a little bit of a march before, maybe try a jog this time. Um, if you jog before, try and do a little sprint. Okay, so 30 seconds, it's all you need, come on. 30 seconds of effort, nice straight back, pump the arms. Come on, this is about giving your heart and lungs a reason to get stronger, give your body a reason to burn fat, to, you know, to burn calories, make it work. Let's go, 15 seconds. This is the building blocks. We're laying the foundations. We're going to get stronger and stronger every single workout we do. But if we're plodding every time, we're not progressing. It's hard to break through the plateau. You've got to push. Come on, push. Three, two, one, and rest. Think of this principle, right? The principle of progression. So that could mean one more squat. It could mean an inch lower on the squat. It could mean knees coming up a little bit higher, it could be like one more star jump, just anything. So think about progressing a little bit more each time. That's when your body truly changes, that's when you have to adapt. Rather than just staying continuous with the same effort, the same intensity, you know, these extra little bits, these little progressions, that's really what transforms the body. So jog and punch now, so knees up again. Let's go, jog and punch. We're not punching down like this, or up, just keep eye level. So eye level, eye level, straight punch. Come on, long arms, remember, push the, push the arms, pull them back. So it's push, pull, push, pull with the running. 15 seconds, then we're going back into those lunges. Come on, it's a really short workout. I want as much effort out of this as you can. Come on, get it going. That's it. Three, two, and one. Right, I need to get this mat stuck down some, I don't know, right. Okay, so we're gonna do the lunges now. And remember, it's all about balance, okay? So we're gonna go um, left foot forwards, right leg back. You don't want to be completely in line. Take, them, take the foot to the side, you're in a bit of a diagonal. And then it's either hands on your hips, out to the side, and we're dropping and lunging. So it's a static kind of single leg lunge. Right, here we go. Okay. And one thing I want you to really think about is like, think about the mood you're in when you start a workout. You know when you just can't be bothered? and you, you had a rough day or you're stressed and it's just it's the last thing you want to do, right? It's easier to go to the cupboard, grab some biscuits and some chocolate and we'll just sit on the sofa. That's the easy option. But this is the harder option, but the, the benefits you get, how you feel after, you've got to remember how much different you feel. Three seconds, how different you feel and how much more positive a behavior that is to actually move your body, to burn some energy, to feel good. Like it's so much more positive for your life right and everything else can feel easier when you're exercising so just keep coming back to that feeling of how you feel how am i going to feel at the end of it you may it may suck when you start but you always feel better after it's a little bit better right foot forwards left leg back that's the biggest motivation for me it's not it's not fat loss and it's obviously i want to stay lean i love it i love feeling strong but it's about how i feel at the end of the workout the mental health benefits and just how different i am as a person when i exercise you know, with the kids, I'm so much more patient. I'm just better at everything. I'm better with work. I'm calmer. I don't feel as anxious about things. All right. So again, you're not, the aim is to one day get the knee down, but you don't have to be that low. It could just be a tiny bend in the front and back knee, a tiny bend, but you're still loading that quad ah, and rest. Okay, good strength. So the legs also, they're such big muscle groups that we've always got to try and include them in a workout because you know, your quads, your glutes, hamstrings, biggest muscles in the body. Um, so we're now gonna go down for the, the plank. So again, you can be on the knees, 
this is where you want to be. So hands and knees, this is the beginner version. And we're just going to tap shoulders. We don't drop back like this and don't dip your body. I'm trying to just basically in that position there, squeeze the abs. Let's go tap in the shoulders. So knees are on the floor if you want. If you want to go up another level, you start from there. And again, but I'm not rocking and twisting like this, look. I'm trying to keep my abs engaged. So I'm squeezing. This is like a more advanced version. Obviously, this is the beginner one. Because you really, if you haven't done any core exercise for a while, it's going to, be, it's going to feel so weak here. You know, these are muscles that are just asleep. Right, tap in the shoulders. Okay, three, two, one. But the most amazing thing is, even with sleepy muscles, and what, you know, we've got zero muscle tone, zero definition, the great thing about the human body is you can change that. You can literally build and shape your body. This is obviously body weight. Then you can progress to, you know, holding some dumbbells or holding a kettlebell or some band, you know, banded exercises where you're not just holding body weight, you're, you're using resistance. And then you really get strong. That's when your, your muscle breaks down and to rebuild essentially. So it's amazing. Right, let's jog. Let's go, last round. Jog or sprint, jog or sprint. Last round. That's the great thing, you know, the body can adapt to the, the training stimulus. So if you do lots of cardio, your cardiovascular system improves. If you lift weights and you get strong, you build muscle. And, and no one can defy that. If you train, you're consistent. 10 seconds, come on. 10 seconds, seven seconds, faster. A little bit quicker, come quick finish. Three, two, one, and rest. Brilliant, good effort on that one. And also, it's that thing of like, Everything feels hard, even when you're really fit. Like even when I'm super fit, hit training and weight training feels hard, but the benefits are so important. The way you feel at the end of it, it's always worth it. It's always worth the struggle, you know? Okay, so we're gonna jog and punch. Jog and punch. Right, here we go. Nice deep breaths. Let's go for a bit more speed this time. So knees up off the floor, run and punch. Long arms. There's a tendency to sort of do these short little punch like this, but don't. Reach, go, go, go. Long arms, punch and push, come on. Get out of your comfort zone. It's coming, fitness is coming. You're getting there. 20 seconds left. So look, you can slow things down, but I wanna get a little turbo boost. Last 10 seconds, here we go, ready? Go, 10, nine, come on. Eight, seven, six, faster, five. Heart rate up, three, two, one, and relax, excellent. We're there, last round. Here come the lawn mowers. Right, next up, reverse lunge. So left leg forwards, right leg back. Oh, it's always the lawn mower, isn't it? When the leaf blows. Right, so 15 seconds we've got till we go. A left foot forwards, right leg back, standing up nice and straight. And we're trying to drop that knee. And obviously the aim is to drop that back knee down as well. Drop the back knee and stand up nice and straight. Okay, last exercise on this right leg and then we switch. Right, so dropping down. Again, you're gonna have days where like, you, you just don't wanna exercise. They're the days you've really gotta dig deep and you say, you know what, I need this, I need to do it. And they're the days you feel really good at the end of it. And also, I think the harder you push in a workout, the greater the endorphins, you know, the greater the kind of, that chemical endorphin that you get really comes with, with, with intensity, I think. So if you're lifting heavy or you're, ah, or you're training hard, you're pushing hard on the sprints and the you know, star jumps and the squats and things, you feel like the, 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 the after effects are more positive, I think, stronger. Right, so right foot forward, left leg back. Same again, then we've just got that last plank, and that is the end of step number five of the fitness, first steps of fitness challenge, I call it. Because I, I know there's so many people that are just absolute beginners, completely sedentary, that don't have the confidence to start, but this is it, this is the start. And I really hope you're enjoying these workouts. Bite-sized chunks confidence builders right come on let's go 20 seconds one of the things I love more than, more than anything when I was a trainer you know back in the day when I was doing the one-to-one stuff, -one, so just seeing the journey the transformation of someone who has no energy is always tired always stressed overweight or you know really unhappy with themselves so just seeing them transform physically and mentally and that's what exercise does three two one oh. and I do love it so if you do go on a little transformation or some kind of mental health journey, you know, let me know in the comments, hit me up on Instagram or Facebook, you know, let me know, I love hearing your stories, it really it motivates me. Okay, so, oh, that's it, last one. 
plank. So plank shoulder taps. So remember, we're not going to be dropping back here. We come forwards, bring the weight onto the abs. And tap the shoulders. Shoulders, if you can. If you want to go a little bit more challenging, we lift ourselves up completely. And without rocking, we squeeze the abs, squeeze the quads, and we don't rotate. We're not rotating, actually. Right, come on. This is it, 10 seconds. And we've done it. We've done another workout together. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Love it. Love that timer. That means we've completed the workout. 15 minutes complete. Well done. I really hope you enjoyed that. And as I said, this is just the start of your journey. I've got hundreds of free workouts on my YouTube channel, which you can literally use forever. They're there forever. They're always going to be there for you. And I do post new workouts quite regularly. If you want more support, more guidance, and a kind of tailored approach and a meal plan to follow your training, uh, check out thebodycoach.com for the Body Coach app because that's a real uh, kind of bespoke, um, more tailored approach to it to really help you get results and get it quick. Uh, so listen, thanks again. Love training with you. Have a great day. Have a little stretch and have a drink. And I'll see you soon for the final step in the first steps to fit the challenge. Good luck.